guys and welcome back to our channel. So today we are back with a video that we really look forward to filming, filming every single year and we really do enjoy watching these videos as well. We get really nosy and we just love seeing what everyone gets for Christmas. Um, I feel like we've done this so many years now. I've got This has got to be like our, definitely our fifth, fifth year. That was definitely fifth. Something like that. But we really do hope you guys had a lovely Christmas. It is currently Christmas evening here. Um, you guys know if this quality looks a little bit different, we are sorry. I have lost my memory card. And unfortunately, I don't have any other memory cards with me. And it's Christmas Day. And today is the only day we can film this video. We wanted to get it up for you guys. So we've actually filmed it on my phone. So hopefully you still get a good... Fingers crossed, it's still okay. Yes, yeah. so we really good want to idea. film it. Yes. So we're just gonna show you guys. Normally we actually unwrap on yeah. camera, but this year with the kids it was just a little we're bit just harder. Really just enjoying the moment with them, yes. and then we thought we'd just do ours later and then just film it later. Yeah, guys. it was very just like in the moment because we're every single year we always do it on camera. Yeah. So it was nice this year to just be with the girls, the family, and just be in the moment, which was yeah. nice. So. So I hope you guys had a lovely Christmas, spent some time with family, had some yummy food. Oh, and I've got a question. Go on. Write down below in the comments what your New Year's resolutions are. I'd like to know. Yeah. So let's get into the video. So the first thing that Aisha got me was these hair rollers. So I, I don't know what TikTok you guys are on at the moment, but I'm on hair TikTok at the moment. My goal is at the moment. Yeah, my I think it's because I looked for rollers and then I there you saw go. the TikTok that was sent to me to see the rollers and now mine is all rollers. Did you see the? Did you show yeah. her that? There you are. Then did you send her the one that I sent you? Did you no, see that one? Oh, she probably couldn't. Okay, you need to see this new one. You have to send me that info. I'll, I'll show you after this video. Yeah. So I am on hair roller TikTok at the moment, and I was like, oh my god, I was saying to Jane, I really, really want some hair rollers. I'm gonna get mine back up. I have you some should, design. you should. And Jada hooked me up, told Aisha that I wanted them. And Aisha got me these, which I'm so excited to try because I really want to do the bouncy blow dry. I want to get more layers cut into my yeah. hair because I think it looks more like bouncy. Yeah, I have got some layers. I, I can see. Can yeah. you see them? Yeah. But I'm gonna get a few more as well just because I feel like, yeah, it adds more volume and it just looks so good. So I'll let you know how I get on with these. Thanks, Aisha. That's okay. So talking of hair, I might as well show you guys um, something that Celia picked up for me. One thing I actually hate by myself is shampoo and conditioner because do you know what? Like I go through so much shampoo considering I don't wash my hair on a daily basis. No, me. Either. You're not really meant to because apparently it's not really good for your hair. Um, and I actually thought Zelia saw these in my bathroom because I had the mini versions, or should I say the normal versions, um, of these. So when I saw these, I was like, oh, best I to see such shampoo I use. But no, I, I saw it on TikTok. I swear, I feel like this is where we got all our interviews from TikTok. TikTok, this year. This year. TikTok, tic I saw that on TikTok. So, so Zelia picked me up um, some shampoo. Oh. Actually, Jane got told me about that. I went, Jane, <laughs> you're the hair girl. Oh, what this is why you Yeah, sorry, I got that one. Wait. Jane's like, excuse me? Jane's behind the camera. It's the Pure Ology um, Shampoo Conditioner. I've used this before and I really do actually like it. It makes my hair feel so smooth. Um, and this is to hydrate the hair. So yeah, I'm glad I've got big oh, bottles. Jumbo size. They'll last me a while. Where did you get these from? Um, look fantastic. It was one of those. I was like, look fantastic. Yeah. Ones. yeah. Oh, love it. Thank you. Thank you. So next up, I opened this, and I don't know why I haven't tried this before. My favorite foundation is the Hourglass um, Stick Foundation. I love it so much. And I've never actually tried their concealer, so Aisha actually picked me up the concealer to try. How did you know which shade to get me? Um, so we spoke to, I spoke to the lady and I said, which is closest to custard? Oh. She went, that's custard. Oh, that's so cute. So I'm really excited because I have it on today, not the concealer. But I thought, you know when you want to have it fresh yeah. at home, blah, 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 so I didn't want to put it on today. I actually have the new um, Everglass, is it Ambient? Correct me if I'm wrong, a uh, foundation on today, which I've got for Christmas too. I actually really like it. It's it looks nice on your skin. Do you think? Yeah. yeah. I'm trying, obviously, a new foundation, so so far I like this, but I actually am going through a really bad skin moment. So I, I feel it's so really bad. Your skin's fine. No. Fine. I'm, honestly, next year's my year. Same. Next year mm -hmm. is my year when it comes to skin and hair. You guys will see. 
I'm gonna put it in what the shape? universe. What shade would be? So I, I should got the shade four. So Celia picked me up some top ups of faves. It's so funny because I think when the first time we ever tried um, the Fenty glosses was it's actually Christmas. Christmas. It was like a Christmas present. And um, our favourites are the Fenty Glow and Fussy. So I've got some top ups of our favourite lip products. Also, another top up fave of ours is the Strip Down by Mac. Such a good um, lip liner. I actually have the lip liner on today. I feel like that's kind of when we end up getting them is like every Christmas. Yeah. We just top each other just up. Just stops me back up. Yeah, or birthdays. Okay, so this is a funny story. So when Aisha opened that, because she opens it first, mm -hmm. I was like, honestly, she act, you acted like you didn't even know what it was. I was like, what's this? Like, I've no, I'm not seeing this blusher. I'm like, da 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 da. It's the Dior Backstage Rosy Glow blusher in the shade pink, I think. What's it pink? 001. Yeah, 001 pink. She's oh, like, oh my god, I love it. I love it so much. Yeah, because I know she's not. Cute I'm not a pow I'm not a powder blush or a blush person. Celia yeah. really recommended this, and she kept going on about how much she loves it, and then she said she was gonna buy it for herself on Boxing Day. I was like, oh, okay, never heard of it. Like pretending I didn't know what it was because I knew how much she wanted it. But of course, I had no idea. She freaking got me one too. There's always something that we always end yeah. up getting each Same. other. I opened it. I was like. I thought you didn't know what it was. She was like, I was joking. Oh, I was like, yeah. oh. I, do you know this was sold out in a lot of places? Oh, I got mine online. Yeah, I went in Harrods, I got this one. Oh, it's so good. Yet again, it was the tip top. It's so me. pink. I said to you, like, I'm not used to this. I don't really wear blushes. No, I don't think it really looks this pink on the skin. Yeah. Watch this. Because when I saw it, I was like, oh my God, it's so pink. I think Kylie Jenner used it in one of her videos or maybe a makeup artist used it or something that was something like that um yeah because i was gonna get the other one that you like that she has and then i was like i might as well get this oh this. the one that jada wears yeah yeah i also like that one too but no this one's cute so well, we both have it you need to be a blush girl no i want to be but I'm, you I was, I'm a bit more of a cream blush girl yeah but i'm gonna try and because I'm so like self conscious of my skin. Yeah. But you don't need to be there. I'm gonna try them. Yeah. Hopefully I like it. Next up I should pick me up two more products from Hourglass. Seeing as she knows I absolutely love the brand, the foundation, she was like, you need to try these. I think you said you already have missed. I have Is that right? So I had missed, lost it, and I re got it because I love it so much. If you haven't tried these, and also if you haven't seen these all over TikTok, honestly, amazing. They go onto the lip. They glide. You, they glide onto your lips. Glide. And Is it what you're wearing right now? Yeah, so what I've got on today is the Trace. shade Trace. I love it. There's no lip liner. I think the lip liner will make it look a little bit darker, but this is no lip liner at all. It's just like a nice little sheen. Um, yeah. But this is the other shade, Mist. which is Mist. And such cute, bougie packaging. I love mm -hmm. it. And they, yeah, they just literally just twist up like that, but apparently you've got to be careful with them because they just like snap off. So Ooh, don't, yeah. Yeah, okay. don't like twist them too much. And it's such a beautiful, like nudie pink shade, which so is nice. um, the shade Miss. It kind of reminds me of um, Fussy, you said. Miss. Well, kind of. I guess Miss, like Fussy, Trace is like um, Fenty Trace. Glow, but it's more like, okay, I'll put it on the screen so you guys can see it because there's such big shade. Shades. Yeah. It looks like quite like a purpley shade, but as you it's can not. see, it's not. Yeah. It's so beautiful. Um, I'm really happy with these. One has brown undertones and one has like pinky, pinky undertones. Yes. Okay, so another product that Zelio picked up for me from Dior was the lip oil. I actually got this for my little sister as well for Christmas um, because this looks amazing. I've actually never tried it. I've tried a lot of lip products, but never the oil. So I've always been so intrigued. Um, again, I know this is very talked about on TikTok. You're not sponsored to buy Yeah, I was just saying, we were doing an ad, we're not. Um, just kind of TikTok girls at the moment. We need to go on TikTok. We need to go on TikTok, we really do. Um, but this is the Lip uh, Glow Oil in pink, I think it is. Is it 001? Yeah, pink. So it's the same shade as like the blusher, no? I guess they're completely different now. Oh, like they're yeah. just probably just the shade names. But I'm very excited to try this because I actually do get quite dry lips. So I don't know why, but I thought you got me that. No. I don't know why. I thought you were like hinting that you got me it. No. I no. got it completely wrong, but the hourglass, you literally picked that so perfectly. Next up, 
Eyeshare got me a top up of one of my favorite perfumes. This is Chanel Chance. I absolutely love this smell. It smells amazing. It smells like a sophisticated woman. woman so yeah, we always say this. Yes, I love it so much. So thank you so much. For I got Zelia this when she fell pregnant with Pia. Yeah. Because I wanted too. her to have a scent that reminded her of when she was pregnant. Because I always do that with things like. Chanel Chance for me reminds me of holiday because I, okay. I bought it with Yeah, her that's what like, you do. You kind of like remind yeah. it of certain time. time. And I thought, right, I'm going to get her perfume so she thinks when she sprays it, it might I'm remind her of when he was pregnant. I love that. Yeah, so thank you so much for a lovely top up because you know when you have perfume, you don't really want to use it that much. Because you don't Now I can it. use it No, and I've got another one, so it's fine. I don't have to be like one square. You know, top up, Celia actually topped me up on a fave of mine as well, which is Coco. Um, Mademoiselle by Chanel as well. Love this. It's so so sophisticated smelling as well. It's one that I've worn for years. Actually, yeah, that's I like you. I my, like that's mine, you. Yeah, mine basically run out. So I was like, I don't. Oh, know. There you so go. this was perfect timing for me. So love this. So thank you so much. And when then, I smell that, I I think that's eyeshadow. Yeah. yeah. Do you? Yeah. Okay. Because I am either wearing this. I'm I'm either wearing this or Chanel Trance. I just love. But then the I feel like the. That Dior one, Dior Poison, that reminds me of you. And oh, D&G yeah. Garden. Okay. <laughs> all, all of them really, anything you spray. Yeah, but do, but do you know what it is? It's because um, the, the Chanel Chance and this are my like kind of all year round. Yeah. I love it. Whereas um, Dolce & Gabbana Garden is my summer, summer scent. And, um, That's a beautiful one. Poison is actually my summer evening scent. Oh, That's how I do I it. Get it. Whereas this is just... Every, all year round. But yeah. I actually got another perfume as well. This is another Chanel. I think this one was, what was it called? Okay, there's no, there's no, oh, yeah. there's no number on it. So I couldn't even tell you what, does it say it there? Nope. Unless it's just called Chanel, no. Is it Chanel. called Paris Paris? No. I don't know. Okay, well, this is what it looks like. I know that it's a limited edition perfume. Um, we'll try and link everything down below and I'll try and link this one so you know what the notes are the same is. It's quite like, like fruity, musty, woody. Musty. Musty. Yeah. Yeah. It's like all sorts of smells, but yeah. Chanel perfumes smell amazing. And next up, Aisha actually picked me up a Rare Beauty blush. Funny story. I tried to get this for Aisha and it was did you? sold out. Yeah, oh, I, didn't I did. Where did you get this from? America. That's why. So this is the other glass sold... lip glosses. Ah. I struggled to get them here. Yeah, I struggled to get this. No, I've got trays here. I've got trays here. here. Missed in America. Oh, because yeah, I was like, I could not get this anywhere. It, it is sold out. Sold How out. beautiful is that Such shade? Such a beautiful shade. You gotta be really apparently you have to be really like not heavy with this because a little goes a long way, so you don't need that much. But I think that's I gonna suit you so nice. excited. This is in the shade Hope. And just if you didn't know, Rare Beauty is Selena Gomez's brand. Yeah. brand. Yeah. Okay, and then I got a blusher as well. This is from Fenty Beauty. So the shades that come in it is Ginger, Ginger Binge. Binge and Moscow Mule. And they're just really beautiful kind of pink shades. We're gonna say it, are we going to be annoyed and say it again? What? Apparently it's trending on TikTok. Oh, apparently it is. And the, I feel like everyone's going to go, yeah, that is. Apparently that goes really well with like Pinkgasm by Charlotte Tilbury. They go really well together. So I'm going to try it. I've got a little audience at the moment. I mean, so. everybody is standing in front of us. So then I should pick me up these trainers from Axel Arigato. I think that's how you pronounce it. These are so cool. I have been wanting these. So I was very, very happy when I saw that I should pick these up for me. Um, they weren't exactly the right colour, but I really yeah. struggled to find these exact But I love these ones. Um, yeah. I don't feel like they're going to be everyone's This would look cool with this. Oh, do you think? You know, oh, like, yeah, yeah exactly. Like um, I don't think they're everyone's cup of tea, but I actually really like them. And I feel like these are going to look perfect with, like, denim, jeans, mm. just, like, easy outfits and straight leg trainers. trainers. Yeah. We're both wearing jumper dresses. I think it'd go nice yeah, with both of our out like yeah. dresses. I love a trainer and I've been wanting some new trainers and I've been seeing these and I know there was like a big hype I think maybe last year or last year or the year before, but 
I don't know, I've only just started liking them now. So yeah, thank you so much for picking these up for me. And then the last thing that Zelly actually picked up for me is what she normally does. We normally do this for yeah, each other, I, I guess it's your year. Did you think I was gonna do something like this? No, no, I thought you would have done something yeah, like this. Yeah, normally I do, but I thought, do you know what, this year I'm not gonna. I'm glad you didn't, because yeah. I did it, so it's good. Yeah, it, imagine if we both. I know, I, I knew that Jen or Jane would have put you off. I said, don't book me anything. Yeah, actually booked us to go to the theater, actually, on the 23rd of May and our birthday is 24th so the day before our birthday um, to go and see Mrs Doubtfire so, so they're actually to London. yeah oh, so I was going to ask is it in London it's in London yes oh, that's coming so cool. to London so that will be really fun me and Zelia love going to the theatre so that is something fun that we have to look forward to yeah which will be nice because it will be kind of like a birthday celebration yeah it will because we said we were going to spend our birthday together this year so I thought oh that would be a nice little starter yes um, and I'm really oh, excited and dogs barking is it a dog? I think it's that side. Yeah. Do you not hear the dog barking? I thought it was, I didn't think it was a dog. I thought what it was just someone. What did you think it was? I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> Someone's tyres, you know, when they make that noise. Like, really? Yeah, that's what I thought no, it was. No, it's not like a dog barking. Oh, I don't but we absolutely loved Mrs. Doubtfire growing up. It was like one of the things we had on the TV a oh, lot. Right. Yeah. So when we found out that was coming, I was like, I have to book that for us. And Annie is as well. Annie oh, is, is that coming too? Yeah, Annie and Mrs. Doubtfire are both coming out. And we're going to see sister acts as well. Yeah, so that is everything that we kindly gifted each other for Christmas. I'm um, very grateful. I think you absolutely smashed it. So thank and you so, so much. And so you always do. And I'm so happy. I'm so excited to try all my new makeup. So thank you so much. And have a new scent. We can maybe do like a updated, like get ready at some point and use, and use our makeup. Yes, and, and we'll matches. let you know. And I, I will, I'll try my other glass foundation again and show you guys. So, yes. but yeah. Okay, so that is probably going to be our last video of the year. Um, I don't think we're going to have too much of time off, but we are going to just enjoy time with family and have probably like a week or so off. And then of course we'll be back to normal next year, which we're really excited about. And yeah, so we really hope you guys had a really, really good Christmas and an amazing new year. And I'm sure we will catch you in our next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.